Hey guys, there's a quick almost break in the rain, so I wanted to show you something. Uh, with the ground being frozen, we have gotten a ton of rain today, probably almost an inch. So the, the rain is coming down the driveway, coming through here, and then it comes through this area and heads off down that way. And as you guys can see, there is a ton of water out there. The whole round bale, I put it on high ground on purpose, but there is water everywhere around it. And even out there in the corner of where the pastures meet, there's water. The chickens have kind of been uh, a little bit trying to figure out what to do because they don't want to cross through water. So they kind of had to alter their path. But you know what, I'm gonna go inside. So we've gotten almost an inch of rain and I looked it up. That would equate to something like 13 inches of snow. Uh, it depends on the, you know, how wet the snow is. It's at anywhere from two inches of like a sleet to 55 inches of super dry powder snow. But, um, yeah, so, and this has happened all, all winter long. Um, when we've gotten a big storm front, it's always dropped rain instead of snow. And I like snow as much as the next person, but I don't need three feet of snow on the ground. So we've really kind of dodged a bullet this year. I think I've only had to plow once or twice, maybe twice. So, yeah, it's uh, it's really wet here right now, and it's going to be a mess for milking, but it is what it is. I'd rather have this than have a foot of snow and have to plow and have, you know, it'd be difficult to get anywhere, so. Hey guys, so this is the driveway in the front yard. You can see that it is really wet. And up by the barn there, we've gotten lots of water as I come this way. You guys can probably even see the current flowing through here and it'll keep coming this way all the way down here it's actually coming from underneath the car there as well and it all drains right past our front door that way and if I come over here you guys maybe you'll hear the um, squishing and the splashing but it drains right down there all the way down to the middle of the field over there where that drainage swale is and then it drains down to the marsh so as wet as this is right now it will probably all be done draining by this evening and for sure tomorrow morning um, it drains pretty quickly I've done my best to get it to drain as fast as possible so it's wet right now but it should drain pretty fast the the part that makes it take longer is the ground is frozen so there's no place for the water to go um and the snow is melting there was a you know inch or two of snow on the ground so that's melting as well so so i'm going to talk a little bit about this flight um we had just gotten home from dropping off the three oldest kids at swim practice and Homestead Girl 2 and Homestead Boy 3 wanted to stomp around in the water a little bit. So we went outside and I noticed that the deer uh, were across the street. Uh, it seemed like the same herd of deer that had been there for the last three or four nights. So I figured I'd grab the drone and throw that up in the air and see if I could get some video footage of it. But by the time I got the drone up in the air, I couldn't see the deer anymore. And uh, I really spent the first a you know, few minutes of the flight looking for them. Depending on what screen you're watching on right now, you may actually be able to see the deer in the top right corner. Uh, they just fade, uh, panned left out of focus, but they're actually right in front of it now. And when I fly my Phantom 3 standard, I use my iPhone 7 Plus as the screen. And for the life of me, I could not see the deer. The drone is actually directly over top of the deer right now, and it didn't seem to phase them at all, uh, but I couldn't find them. So you can actually see right now, I'm looking in the forest, trying to find the deer, I'm looking in the field, trying to get a different angle to see if you know, I'm just not able to see them because of their brown fur and the now exposed dirt. Uh, but I was really having a hard time. I was actually kind of getting disappointed that I hadn't been able to get any video footage of the deer. I thought I was just too late and I missed them and, and they were gone. Um, but 
about this time I decided to come back and try to get a different angle and now you start to see the deer um, I'm about 150 feet up and I finally found the deer there's a herd of 13 deer and at the height and distance that I was it didn't seem to bother them at all I actually am able to drop down to I think about a hundred feet and uh, you know they look up every once in a while but it doesn't seem like they're that concerned about it um, I didn't want to bother them but I did want to get some good video footage so coming up here towards the end of this clip of the video I was actually able to drop down to about 50 feet and get pretty close to the deer they still didn't seem too worried um, but it was really cool video and depending on what screen you guys are watching on if you're watching on a decent size computer screen you should be able to see a deer extremely well and uh, I get a pretty cool shot of trying to uh, of the deer in frame and then I just back away and uh, raise up the height of the drone and it turns out pretty cool so I'm gonna stop the voiceover here I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, we'll see you guys next time.